so day two technically it's not day two it's actually been a couple days um, I have actually made some progress I've been tinkering uh, while I've been away doing other stuff so what I have done is aside from the completed tender I have now got the front half of the frames done uh, so today I reckon I'm going to try and do the back half of the frames plus maybe start on the uh, the cab area right enough dawdling let's get on with it So if you didn't think I had enough Lego, that is just full of stuff. That's where I keep my trains that I'm not using. But all of that. Loads of pieces. Loads of new ones as well. That's stuff I've amassed recently. And then all of these as well. So the frames are coming along nicely, excuse a little flare there. Um, I just thought I would show you these cylinders. Technic piece, two Technic pins, cylinder assembly there, made with a lift arm, and there you go. Now, these are actually going to be dark green. Uh, I'm going to put an order in for two lift arm pieces, but because they're just one big round cylinder as opposed to a double cylinder that you normally get, it's, um, yeah, it's come up a bit small. But hey ho, I'll keep working and adjust it at a later date if anything comes to mind. So, a bit later in the day, um, made a lot of progress. I'm happily surprised at how many dark green pieces I actually have. Uh, I'm still going to have to order quite a few, but I have actually managed to get quite a bit of the bodywork done. As you can see, I've got a bunch of studs ready for the sides of the smoke box to go on, and this here will house this Technic axle, which will, of course, keep the boiler on. Um, I have actually borrowed, temporarily, the windows from my Great Western 1400. I'm going to put them back um, before I order some more pieces, but they're there for now. So, if I pop that in, and these are the smoke box sides. I was impressed by how many 1x3 uh, slope pieces that I've got. There we go, that makes up the side. Now of course these bits here also need to be ordered in. Um, around the back, these are the supports for the roof. And of course, the roof itself. Starting to come together a bit now, you can see the there is actually some uh, looking space through there, which really just leaves that. 
and we almost have ourselves an engine. So I'm doing a Brooklyn quarter now. Uh, that should cover the few pieces that I don't have here. Interesting thing with Bricklink is that if you put, instead of going through various different stores and buying each item individually, if you put them all onto your wanted list, and at the bottom you'll find buy all. Now that brings up a bunch of settings. Uh, you can uh, tweak which countries you'd rather have or not have them from. I tend to try and keep them within the UK. Occasionally I'll go beyond that to the EU, but I won't have that luxury uh, for much longer. That tends to keep the pa the, the uh, postage prices down. It will select the stores and put them all together for you. It really is a lot easier than buying them all individually. So that's what I'm going to do now. So that's the end of day two. I will get back to you when all the pieces arrive and I can finish the engine. So, day three. Except it's not day three. In fact, since I have last been on camera, it has been about two weeks. Reason being, I went away. I thought I would have all the Brickling Quarter pieces by now, but there was a mix up and I had to order more. Anyway, there is something that I am going to do today that I didn't think I would do before uh, I started this build, but I think it will make it a lot better. So, here it is. Now, as you can see, I've added the dome because I've been looking at the pictures and it is quite a defining characteristic of the engine. However, the key to this dome is this part here. Now, the problem with that is that this doesn't exist in dark green. Now, there are four options for me here. Either I completely redo the livery, which would just take far too long and would cost too much money. I could find a brick built solution to this, but at this scale, I'd much rather keep it neat and tidy. I could use glue and simply stick it to the top of the boiler, but that means that I would never be able to use it in any other way again. So I'm going to use the fourth option, which may anger some purists, spray paint. Now, if you're under the age that you're allowed to buy spray paint, I'd recommend that you did it under the supervision of an adult. Also, I'd recommend that you did it outside or in a very well ventilated room. Now, I've tested the uh, color of the spray paint by trying it on a couple of other bricks. So now I am ready to get on with the rest of the spray paint. So it is going to take a while, at least a day, meaning that I'm going to have to call it for now and leave this overnight. Day four, um, I left the paint to dry overnight. <laughs> it did not work out the way I was hoping it to. The paint was the wrong shade, it was uneven and it was even cracking in some places. My thought really, because it was a cheaper make, I thought I'd get away with it because it was billed as the same colour as a slightly more expensive gloss finish spray paint. I was thinking of uh, leaving this whole bit out and just kind of having a whole new day three, but I am also learning while doing this and I think it's important that I share my mistakes so that other people won't do it. Now I'm not saying don't spray paint, I'm saying be very, very patient, careful and you probably will have to shell out a little more money. I thought I could cut that corner because the can said that it was fine for use on plastics, but in reality, you really do need something on there to help keep it uh, in place. So I'll put that down to human error and leave it there. But not being one to give up too easily, I've done things the old fashioned way, um, and I have used acrylic paint on this one. It's a slightly more matte finish because of the brush strokes, but the shade is pretty much spot on. Meaning I can add it to the model for now, and if later down the line I feel the need to revisit the spray paint, I can do so and replace it. So there you go, uh, next time I should have all the pieces available to finish the engine, and it should be very exciting, so I'll see you then.